Hey, what's up again, everybody? It's Robert, one of you four, two hours to be's Gundam Reviews.net, and the end of the month means the hobby magazines are out. Dengeki Hobby, Hobby Japan, and whether you're reading them on the shelves or scans online, or if you're buying them from Hobby Link Japan, don't forget that you can get all the kits I'm about to mention from them. There'll be links down below to hlj.com. But the big news, I think, coming out for me and fans of Universal Century and just HG leads in general is that we're going to be getting the F-91 in December, and yes, the All Gundam Project is definitely progressing. Hopefully, one a month, it's going to keep going right up until next October. That would be an absolute dream. But it's sort of cool. The small size of the kit is going to be reflected in the price, 1,200 yen. You wonder if they're going to be scaling it down, but it looks like from the prototype images that they've got online that there's going to be a lot of different weapons and accessories. And if you're a fan of one of the manga series that's running right now, Gundam Thunderbolt, this is in big comics, Sort of, or superior actually, this is sort of cool that it's not in Gundam Ace or anywhere else. So this is going to be geared more towards adults, and if you've been reading it, it's got some really interesting designs out there. Whether you're talking about the full armor Gundam with its crazy cannon on the back, or just what they've done with the Zaku 2 in the gyms, well it's been announced that at the Kara Hobby Show coming up soon, we're going to be getting some looks at the prototypes, and Hayamimi Gunpla has said that we are going to be getting them in Gunpla form which is absolutely fantastic, and of course, you can check out some more pictures, including silhouettes, in the hobby magazines. Moving on to premium Bandai online shops, well, what are we getting there? Yes, I can't believe I've still never built the Master Grade Zagok, but now if I wanted to do it in green, in addition to the regular blue and red, I could go ahead and do that. Nice reasonable prices, 3,000 yen, November it looks like, and something that I think is a little bit less exciting for me anyway is the Zaku Cannon, but if you're a fan of dioramas and you really want to go make something look like a real military piece of equipment, it's definitely a fun way to do it. Things are moving along in terms of the planning for the real grade Strike Freedom Gundam Gold Inner Frame is going to be pretty exciting to see how that works for that B-plate there. And the other things, of course, the Wing Gundam Zero, or the Proto Zero, EW, I should be saying we're getting more and more color scans, it's looking fantastic. Yes, there's changes, but it's still going to be looking sharp, and it'll look really nice in 1-100th on your shelf. If anybody's been picking up the metal builds, I haven't been doing it for the x -Ear or the Freedom or things like that. The Destiny Gundam, though, absolutely one of my favorite designs, no matter how many times I rag on Shin. But it's really cool that that's going to be coming home in December, of course, for its regular hefty price. Also online, Tamashi Web Shop exclusives, we're going to be getting the Barzam or the Bazam or whatever you want to call it. And not too exciting, but I think really the focus has to be on what we're getting for the new anime. As Build Fighters is going to be doing well for both new designs and for the old classics. Of course, we've got the Build Strike Gundam coming out, the Zaku Amazing, despite its name being anything but the Wizard Gundam X Mao, and it looks like we're going to be getting the Build Gundam Mark II. So it's sort of interesting if this is coming out in November, whether they're going to be going the Gundam Age route and having four leads, whether he'll jump from the Build Strike into the Mark II, then we get to go on to Zeta, Zip Mark, Double Zeta, and the new Gundam, well, we'll have to see what they're going to be doing. But more packs as well, as we're also going to be getting the Build Booster Mark II, which is looking very super-ish. Of course, you can swap them on all over the place, and if you go check out their website, after Wing, Double X, Victory, and now F91, there's still at least two more slots for coming soon, so hopefully we're going to be getting any even more. V2, what else do you speculate? Would love to hear your thoughts. But anyway, this month, what are your biggest surprises? I'm really pleased about the F91 myself, and the fact that you're getting a green Zagok, I think that actually seems pretty cool. So something I may be looking at online. Anyway, don't forget Hobby Link Japan, you can pick these all up, and please let me know what you are the most excited about with a comment down below. Thanks for watching, everybody, and don't forget to stick around for reviews and news like this, especially at the end of the month. Thanks for watching. See ya. How about an HGUC F90? Yeah, that'll probably never happen.